boys and girls from grade 4. Welcome to our new book 4A. This is Nofil Gattan and I will present to you episode 6 from Unit 2, A Family Celebration. Today we will learn about punctuation and writing composition. First, let's go through our previous homework. You had to look at your workbook page 17 and write a description of the character. Take a look at the picture. Her name is Sally. She is thin. She has got a short blonde hair. She has big blue eyes and small nose. She is wearing a blue shirt. Now, let's move on to the writing part. Remember the rules of punctuation. Use a full stop when needed at the end of the sentence. Use a question mark when needed at the end of the question and don't forget to capitalize. Let's practice together. Punctuate the following sentences. Number one, Noura has got wavy hair. Noura has got wavy hair. I'm going to give you a minute. Correct. Noura has got wavy hair. The letter N at the beginning is capitalized because it is at the beginning of the sentence and it's a name. At the end, we use full stop because it's the end of the sentence. That's great. Number two. He was born in April. He was born in April. I'm going to give you another minute. Excellent. He was born in April. The letter H is capitalized because it's the beginning of the sentence. And the letter A in April is capitalized because it's a name of a month. At the end of the sentence, we use a full stop. Three, this is Ali's ball. This is Ali's ball. Going to give you a minute. Excellent. This is Ali's ball. The letter T here is capitalized because that's the beginning of the sentence. Ali's. The letter A is capitalized because it's a name and we use the apostrophe just before the S because the ball belongs to Ali. Remember the possessive S, Ali's ball. At the end of the sentence, we use a full stop. This is Ali's ball. Great job! Now, let's move on to the writing rubrics, the graphic organizer, which we use to check your answers. Answer the given guiding questions using phrases, not words. Remember, boys and girls? phrases not words number two paragraph use the phrases to write complete sentences in your paragraph state the main idea organize your ideas add supporting details make your last sentence a conclusion now let's move on to the writing rubrics remember the graphic organizer we use or you use to follow the pre-writing techniques. Explore your ideas and sentences. Follow the correct format and layout of a paragraph. If it's an email, follow the correct format of an email. If it's a paragraph, follow the correct format of a paragraph. Use correct grammar and spelling and be aware of your handwriting. It's supposed to be clean and neat and follow the correct punctuation when needed. Tips for writing. Use the correct punctuation marks. Vary your ideas. Write full sentences. Check your spelling. Now, fill in the graphic organizer, then use it to write a paragraph about Gurgaon celebration. The following guide words may help you. Ramadan, traditional, collect, knock, excited. The words again. Ramadan, traditional, collect, knock, excited. 
When does Gergeyan come? Next question. What did you wear last Gergeyan? Next one. What did you do last Gergeyan? The last question. How did you feel? Try to answer using phrases, not words only. Question number one. When does Gergeyan come? In Ramadan. That is correct. Question number two. What did you wear last Gergeyan? Traditional clothes. That is correct. Question number three. What did you do last Gergeyan? Collected candies and sang songs. Great. Number four. How did you feel? Excited. Excellent, boys and girls. Now, this is the graphic organizer for writing our paragraph. When does Gergeyan come? In Ramadan. The question in phrases, not sentences or words. What did you wear last Gergeyan? Traditional clothes. What did you do last Gergeyan? Collected candies and sang songs. How did you feel? Excited. Excellent. All right, boys and girls. Now, let's move on to the writing part. Let's go to our graphic organizer and to our questions, get our answers and put them in a full correct sentence. Gergeyan celebration. This is our title. When does Gergeyan come? So, you take the phrase in Ramadan and you put it in a very good and neat sentence. Gergeyan celebration comes in Ramadan. And then full stop. Question number two. What did you wear last Gergeyan? Remember, your answer is a phrase. You should use a full correct sentence to complete your paragraph. So, last Gergeyan, I wore traditional clothes. Remember the use of correct grammar. Last Gergeyan, I wore traditional clothes. Excellent. Let's move on to the next question. What did you do last Gergeyan? The phrase is collected candies and sang songs. Now, we take those two phrases and we make a very correct sentence. I collected candies and sang songs. How did you feel? Excited. Remember, you have to use a full correct sentence. I was very excited. Now, let's read the paragraph about Gergeyan celebration. Gergeyan celebration comes in Ramadan. Last Gergeyan, I wore traditional clothes. I collected candies and sang songs. I was very excited. Excellent, boys and girls. Now, we have a homework. Look at your pupil's book, page 39, and write three sentences about what you did last Gergeyan. All right? The first one is always done for you. Number one, I wore a green traditional dress. Do not forget to complete two and three. Write very good, correct sentences about what you did last Gergeyan. We have reached the end of today's episode and we learned how to write a short paragraph about Gergeyan celebration using the graphic organizer. Thank you for watching, boys and girls. We hope to see you soon. Mm -hmm.